Have you ever wondered if everything you've heard about AI is accurate? From Hollywood movies to tech buzzwords, AI is everywhere. But with its growing presence come myths and misunderstandings. Today, we're going to demystify some of these misconceptions. Let's dive into the most common things people get wrong about AI. Number 1. Machine learning and deep learning are the same. At first glance, you might hear machine learning and deep learning and assume they're interchangeable terms. But let's simplify this with an analogy. Imagine you have a toolkit. Machine learning is like the entire kit and deep learning is one specific, sophisticated tool within it. Machine learning at its core is about teaching machines to learn from data. You feed it data and it makes predictions or decisions without being explicitly programmed for that task. Now, there are many ways to do this. Some methods might be straightforward, like linear regressions, which, to continue with our analogy, might be likened to a basic screwdriver. Enter Deep Learning Deep learning is inspired by our understanding of the human brain. Neurons interconnected in intricate patterns. It uses complex structures called neural networks, which consist of layers upon layers of interconnected nodes, or neurons. It's like the deluxe electric drill in our toolkit. It's powerful, but it's just one part of the broader landscape of machine learning. Deep learning shines especially when you have vast amounts of unstructured data, like images or voice recordings. But just like you wouldn't use an electric drill for every household fix, deep learning isn't the solution for every problem. Number 2. All AI systems are black boxes the term black box suggests mystery, something inscrutable where inputs go in and outputs come out, but the inner workings are unknown. While some AI models, especially certain deep learning ones, can be complex to interpret, it's a misconception to believe that all AI operates this way. Let's consider a basic AI model like a decision tree. Imagine teaching a child to categorize fruits based on questions. Is it red? Is it round? And so on. Each answer guides the child closer to the correct category. This is essentially how a decision tree works. Clear, logical, and easily visualized. Now, when we move to more intricate models like deep neural networks, things become more complex. Due to their depth and the vast numbers of parameters, they can appear as black boxes. However, the field of AI has recognized this challenge, and there's a growing emphasis on explainable AI. Researchers are developing methods to make even these complex models more understandable. Believing that all AI is a black box is like assuming all problems are unsolvable mysteries. With the right tools, approach, and understanding, we can shine light into that box. Number 3. AI systems are only as good as the data they train on. Think about how humans learn. If we're taught incorrectly or if our learning materials have gaps, our knowledge will be flawed. Similarly, AI systems learn from data. If that data is biased, incomplete, or simply inaccurate, the AI's outputs will reflect those flaws. Let's say you're training an AI to recognize pictures of cats. If all the pictures you feed it are of black cats, the AI might struggle or even fail to recognize a white cat or a tabby. In this instance, the AI isn't dumb, it's just working with what it was given. Furthermore, the real world is vast and diverse. If AI is trained on a limited or non-representative dataset, it might not perform well in real-world scenarios. It's like training for a marathon by only practicing sprints. It's not just about practicing hard, but practicing right. And here's where the wisdom lies. Instead of focusing solely on collecting massive amounts of data, it's equally, if not more important, to ensure that this data is representative, diverse, and of high quality. In the world of AI, precision often trumps sheer volume. Number 4. AI will take over all jobs. This is a fear that resonates with many, and at its heart lies the rapid pace of technological advancement. 
But let's approach this rationally and historically. Every major technological revolution, be it the industrial revolution with its machinery or the digital revolution with computers, sparked fears of massive unemployment. While these advances did displace certain jobs, they also gave rise to entirely new professions. Consider the calculator, an invention that could have potentially put accountants out of work. Instead, it became a tool that made their tasks more manageable, allowing them to focus on more complex financial strategies and advising. Similarly, AI is a tool, a powerful one, but a tool nonetheless. While AI might automate repetitive tasks or data-heavy roles, it's challenging to replicate human creativity, intuition, empathy, and the intricacies of interpersonal communication. Chefs, therapists, artists, even planners, and many other professions rely on a deep understanding of human nuances, something AI isn't close to mastering. Moreover, with the introduction of AI, new roles will emerge, roles we haven't even conceived of yet. Thus, the focus should be on adaptation and education, ensuring we're equipped to work alongside AI rather than in opposition. Number 5. AI Can't Understand Human Emotions On the surface, it might seem that AI is making leaps in understanding emotions. There are programs that can analyze facial patterns to detect if a person is likely sad or happy, or software that gauges sentiment in written text. But let's clarify what understanding truly means. When humans experience emotions, there's a depth and richness to it, informed by personal history, cultural context, and immediate circumstances. When we say someone understands our emotions, we imply they grasp this depth and can empathize. AI doesn't feel emotions. It recognizes patterns. If a voice trembles, AI might identify the person as upset based on patterns in its data, but it doesn't understand the heartbreak or joy causing that tremble. For an analogy, watching a movie's subtitles isn't the same as experiencing the film. AI, in a sense, is reading the subtitles of human emotions without fully experiencing or grasping the movie of human experience. Number 6. Only Big Companies Can Use AI The narrative of AI often revolves around tech giants, conjuring images of sprawling server farms and multi-billion dollar budgets. But the reality of AI today is much more democratic. Let's think about the evolution of computers. Decades ago, they filled entire rooms and were exclusive to major corporations and research institutions. Fast forward to today, and computers are in most households, and smartphones, powerful computing devices, are in many pockets. AI's journey mirrors this. With the advent of open source platforms, cloud computing, and a globally connected community, access to AI tools and resources is no longer confined to Silicon Valley. Startups, independent developers, students, and even enthusiasts are building AI models, sometimes even outperforming industry behemoths. The beauty of this democratization is that it leads to diverse applications and innovations. From local farmers using AI to predict weather patterns and optimize crops, to educators employing AI for personalized learning, the applications are vast and varied. It's not the size of the company, but the innovation and vision behind the idea that drives AI's potential. Number 7. More data means better AI it's tempting to think that in the vast digital landscape, the more data we have, the more powerful our AI becomes. After all, data is the fuel for machine learning. However, it's not just the quantity of data that matters, but the quality. Consider this. If you're trying to master a new language, reading a thousand poorly written, repetitive, or irrelevant sentences won't make you fluent. Instead, a well-curated book or lessons might be far more effective. Similarly, feeding an AI system massive amounts of irrelevant or noisy data won't magically make it smarter. In some cases, it might even degrade its performance, 
leading to overfitting where the AI becomes too tailored to the training data and performs poorly on new, unseen data. The wisdom here lies in recognizing that meaningful, well-structured and representative data is the key. An AI trained on diverse, high-quality data will almost always outperform one drowned in data of questionable relevance. Number 8. Self-Modifying Code The idea of AI modifying its code might sound like science fiction. Images of robots evolving themselves can be alarming. In reality, while AI can adjust certain parameters within algorithms to optimize performance, this is essentially what learning is for them, they aren't rewriting their foundational code. Let's frame it with an analogy. Consider a child learning to ride a bicycle. As they practice, they adjust their balance, the pressure they put on the pedals, and their steering to avoid falling. These adjustments are like the tweaks an AI makes. But asking an AI to rewrite its code would be akin to asking the child to redesign the bicycle while learning to ride. The child can become an expert rider, maybe even performing tricks, but the basic design of the bike remains the same. AI operates within set boundaries. While they can learn within these confines, they don't possess the spontaneous creativity or intent to redesign their core. It's a guided evolution, not a wild reinvention. Number 9. Technological Singularity is Not Far Off The idea of the technological singularity, a point where AI surpasses human intelligence and becomes uncontrollably self-improving, is captivating and a debated concept. However, the timeline and even the feasibility of such an event remain speculative. AI today excels in specific tasks, often outperforming humans. A calculator can outdo us in arithmetic, and specialized software can best doctors in diagnosing certain conditions from x-rays. But these are narrow domains. General intelligence, the broad, adaptable intelligence humans possess, is a complex tapestry of reasoning, learning, perception, creativity, and even emotions. Predicting a singularity event requires assuming that AI will achieve and then rapidly surpass this multifaceted human-like intelligence. While advancements in AI are swift, we're still far away from creating machines that genuinely understand, think, and innovate like humans across a wide range of tasks. It's a bit like predicting that because a toddler took their first steps, they're only moments away from running a marathon. If you've made it this far, comment down below with the word 100% to confirm that you've received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.